EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Denver Broncos. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. First down is Locke. Into a double team and it's intercepted. T.J. Green with a pick. Boy, an aggressive play call to start this game. It backfired, but aggressive, no question about that. Is that one of those statement calls? Trying to let you know that they're going to be aggressive right out of the gate. But that one hung up just a little bit too long. He made a nice play on the ball defensively and was able to pick it off. Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 34. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Number two. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. This a second and seven from the 37. Now it's Roethlisberger. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they've got to be thrilled to have this game still at nothing, nothing after the interception thrown on the very first play of the game. They certainly do. And what I enjoyed was watching him on the sidelines because as the defense came off, he was there to congratulate them and really say thanks because he threw the interception. It didn't turn into any points. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Check. Check out. 80 weapon. 80 weapon. Box track. Throwing now is locked. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. On first and 10, here's Locke. 
And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again. Lock. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Third and They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Chris Boswell. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. The Broncos take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. A good first down call as the screen play gets a nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Lock on target there to Fant, the tight end. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. At the 42-yard line. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Shotgun snap to lock. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now a handoff looking right. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Go, just go. keep giving Black it to 20. him. Back 
First carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos' 43-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. And the Steeler first down. Set! Black 20! From the gun, they'll try to run it. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That's the receivers that spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two, as they've got it with a first and 10. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. This is caught, and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. To number 84. From 19 yards away, and the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your... And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Stephon Tuitt able to shake free and get home for the sack. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Block working out of the gun. And Locke throws another one. It's intercepted. Picked off by Minka Fitzpatrick. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll